Welcome to Friday Fish Facts. I'm your host, Ron DeSantis. Today we are talking about the expansion we've done on the fish room. We didn't go this crazy, we just added a couple of tanks. We also went with a uh, Seacam Fluorite Black Sand. Now the Seacam Fluorite Black Sand was the biggest decision we had to make in the fish room. We'll get into it in a little bit here. So this video was filmed over a few weeks time. You'll see the progress that we made as we just added a couple of tanks. But what I really was not sure about was what kind of substrate I wanted to use. I knew I wanted to do something different and I didn't want to do fluval stratum. I was very close to going with Eco Complete, but I did go with the Seacam Fluorite Black Sand for a few reasons. Really it's not a sand, it's a clay that's just ground up into a sand. It has the debris will float on top instead of getting into the cracks, so it's easier to clean the top like that. I also, it's got good nutrients in it, so it's kind of like having fertilizer in there 24 seven. I'm still gonna add liquid fertilizer, but I'm hoping for some good results. You'll see that at the beginning of, when I first put the clay in that uh, it kind of was cloudy mess, but we cleaned it up and we'll show you how we did that. Okay, so first things first, I had to get this stand made. Luckily, I am a sheet metal worker, so I could get this for a very reasonable price, wink wink, and got this stand made and painted it up. So we've got Ben's 10 gallon on the bottom here. This 10 gallon right now has got some of those blue Hawaiian Moscow guppies that I got from Bentley, which have had babies and I'm hanging on to those things like gold. I don't normally use a breeder box, but I am right now. This is going to be the quarantine tank. And then the 20 gallon long here, which is gonna be Ashley's tank. That is going to be a, where the blue Moscow's are gonna go. And it's also gonna be a shrimp tank. So if you can see where it is in the room here, down in the hobby room, there's the 90 gallon right there. And of course there's some, I was at the pet store today, I couldn't not buy fish. There's a few neons up at the top there. And then if we roll all the way around here, you'll see this is the kind of substrate, I'm, I just got this from Amazon today. That's the kind of substrate that's gonna go in Ben's tank upstairs, which I'll show you in a second. And then there's the 90 gallon, or the 220 gallon right there. Sorry, excuse the reflection on this tank here. So this is the new to Ben 20 gallon. We've got to clean this one up. I've already painted the background blue. That's what he wanted. The 20 gallon long downstairs is black because that's what Ashley wanted. And we had a AquaClear leftover that we got from an auction that we're going to put on that one. And then my buddy won this Marine Land right here, which I've never used this type of filter before. And this is the filter, he gave that one to me, so it's brand new out of the box. That's the filter we're going to use for Ben's tank here. And first we're going to start off with moving Ben's Betta into here, which has been in a one gallon for the last few days, and he's not super happy with that setup. So we're over at the 29 gallon here in the kitchen, and we're going to take this filter right here. And we're gonna run this on the back of Ben's tank. So that's how we're gonna get that thing cycled quickly. This tank here still has got a sponge filter in here and I'll take Ben's Marine Land and I'll put that on the back here while the other one's running on Ben's new 20 gallon. So why do I have a plate floating in here? Well, that's because as I'm dumping the water in, I don't want it to disturb the substrate. And as you can see, it is a cloudy mess. And it's probably gonna be like that for about 24 hours. So I'll fill this whole thing up, then we'll st let it sit for a day, then we'll start cycling it. So this is our version of giving it a light rinse because it's very difficult to rinse. So we're just gonna take some of this out and then put some more of it back in. Please excuse the reflection again on this tank. So we've got this thing up and running. It took a lot more than 24 hours to get the water not cloudy. So I did three days in a row of changing the water and then two days of just running a brand new filter on the back just to try and clean it up. So it took about five days to get this water not cloudy anymore. And then like I said, we put the hang on back from the 29 gallon here, which was already cycled and we let it run for two days. And then we put the bed in. After about a week, which was yesterday, we moved the quarries and the rest of the plants and the clown pleco in here bought a brand new heater which is a uh, top fin i bought that one because it was the cheapest one that uh, i could find so we did have that better 
in a one gallon for what two weeks and he didn't like it not happy at all just had a little sponge filter in there and he did not like it especially being used to living in a 10 gallon so anyway that's that so we moved everything out except for the guppies um, out of the 10 gallon and put them into bends I've been trying to breed these albino quarries for about six months and feeling like a failure because I haven't been able to do that. Even though I've been feeding them frozen uh, foods and doing the cold water water changes, it hasn't been working. But once we moved everything out of here except for the guppies, Amelia noticed a couple of albino quarry fry. Now there is a few guppy fry in here as well, but there we have finally, it's success, there's a couple of, oh, you can't really see them albino quarry fry in there so hopefully in the 20 gallon upstairs they'll do better i mean there is a clown pleco in there which i'm guessing which was eating the eggs um uh, but we'll see now let's get that 20 gallon long set up okay so we got the same kind of substrate amazon here because i can't get this size of a bag in a store by me stuff fluorite black sand there it is this time i'm gonna try rinsing it first i'm gonna do a little bit at a time rinse it out and see if we can get the cloudy water fixed before you know fat or at least faster than we did the last time i'm just gonna do a little bit at a time So this one was still cloudy even after uh, rinsing it. I still had to change the water, run the filter on it. And uh, yeah, next time I get the uh, Seacam Fluorite, I won't bother pre-rinsing. I'll just go ahead and put it in there and then do a few water changes, get the filter running on there and that'll be good enough. This isn't what the tank's gonna look like. This is just, this tank is cycling right now. And as soon as it is, I'm gonna get a bed in here. And then Ashley will scape it how she wants it. It won't be these plants or rock or driftwood even necessarily. And it's going to have shrimp in there. So we'll stay tuned for that. Join me next week for another edition of Friday Fish Facts.